I'm Richard Clark. Ramana Maharshi's teachings are deep and profound. Listen each day to deepen your practice. Welcome. I'm reviewing and commenting on the book Talks with Sri Ramana Maharshi. Today is from Talk 501. A young Mysorean asked, how did I get this body? Maharshi, you speak of I and the body. There is the relationship between the two. You are not there for the body. The question does not occur to the body because it is inert. There is an occasion when you are not aware of the body, namely, in deep sleep. The question does not arise then. Nevertheless, you are there in sleep. To whom does the question arise now? Questioner, the ego, Maharshi. Yes, the body and the ego rise up together and sink together. There is an occasion when you're not associated with the ego in deep sleep. Now you are associated with the ego. Of these two states, which is your real state? You are present in sleep and the same you is present now. Why should the doubt arise now and not then? You are right in saying that it is for the ego. You are not the ego. The ego is intermediate between the self and the body. You are the self. Find out the origin of the ego and see if the doubt persists. In this dialogue, the questioner asked Sri Ramana Maharshi, how did I get this body? The Maharshi immediately points out that the questioner is distinguishing between I and the body which reveals an implicit understanding that they are not the same. Maharshi emphasizes this by explaining that the body is inert. It is just a physical form without consciousness. The question of where the body comes from doesn't occur to the body itself because it has no awareness. The Maharshi brings attention to deep sleep, a state where you are completely unaware of the body, yet you still exist. In sleep, the body and the sense of I disappear, but something remains. That is the self which is ever present. This example is meant to show your true nature isn't tied to the body as it continues whether you are aware of the body or not. The question then arises, who is asking the question now? The answer is the ego. If there is a question, it is from the ego not the self. The self has no questions. The ego is the sense of individuality that identifies itself with the body and mind, creating a false sense of separation from the self. Maharshi explained that both the ego and the body rise and fall together. They both disappear in deep sleep and reappear upon waking. This shared rising and falling shows that the ego 
is not your true self, but merely something temporary that comes and goes. Ramana invites the questioner to reflect on their real state. In deep sleep, the ego is absent, yet you are still there as the self. Upon waking, the ego appears, but the same self is still there underneath, usually unnoticed. So which of these states is your true nature? The temporary association with the ego and body or the constant and changing presence of the self? By saying you are the self, Ramana directs you to look beyond the body and ego and investigate their origin. The ego is like an intermediate layer between the body and the self, and when you trace the ego back to its origin, you realize that it has no independent existence apart from the self. Through self-inquiry, the illusion of the ego dissolves, and you can recognize your true nature as the self, where no doubts or questions can arise. So know yourself and be always free and at peace. In 40 verses on reality, Ramana Maharshi explains the nature of the self, the ultimate reality, and self-inquiry. My new book with my comments and inquiry questions opens these teachings up and brings them into your practice and experience. Available now from Amazon. Link in the video description. These videos bring Ramana's teachings into your direct experience. Click subscribe to see more. Click thumbs up to like and send questions and start a dialogue with a comment.